Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Hi, my name is Rosie and thank you so much for taking a moment out of your busy day to spend a few moments with me. I really appreciate it. So in today's video, we have something really, really sweet that we're going to do. So if you're ready, let's get Project. started. I was up on Creative Fabrica. I love that website. And I was looking for treat bags. Now, normally I would just kind of do them on the fly, um, just myself, but I wanted something a little bit more intricate. So why not take advantage of what's already out there where I don't need to figure out all the dimensions, right? So I found this Frankenstein treat bag that I thought would be so cute for Halloween. So I've gone ahead and I've cut everything out. Now, I have not made this before, so we are going to do this together. We will learn together. Um, we will see how this turns out. Now, just to let you know, I did scale this larger. So when I brought it in, after I did all of my ungrouping and score lines and all of that, I grouped it all back together. Then I went ahead and I made it larger. I wanted it to be a larger um, bag. So, um, just know that what I'm creating here is going to be significantly bigger than how it comes. And you can do that in Cricut Design Space. You can either go smaller or larger. Just make sure that you have all your pieces grouped together so they all scale together, whether it's up or down. Okay, so... Um, I have these pieces here, so I think I have four, right? So I have two larger pieces, and then I have this piece here. And what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to go through all of my pieces, and I'm going to go ahead and fold wherever there's a score line. So let's go ahead and do that first. Okay, now that I've gone ahead and I have scored, I think, everything that I should, I'm going to go ahead and work on the front and back of the treat bag. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one off to the side as well as this one. And I am going to work with these two larger ones. So you can tell that these are the two larger panels. One of them, you're going to see right underneath the handle, there's a little slit. You see that slit? It's only on one of the pieces. So this piece does not have it. The piece that has that slit, that's going to be the front. So that'll be, um, so you'll know which is the front or the back. So again, the front has the little slit. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and um, put these all together. So let's go ahead and grab the front piece, so the piece that has the slit. And we have our um, our score lines here, and then we have our tab. This is what we're going to use to attach it to the other one. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and just use some tape runner, but then I'm also going to do, let's see here, I'm also going to do my reptile glue for added strength. Make sure it's not clogged up. Okay, so I like using the double adhesive method when I really want something to stay put um, in like a bag. You don't want the seams to come undone. Okay, so there's that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to bring back in this second piece. So you'll see we have a flat edge on this side and then we have a tab on this side. Right, so we have our tab on this side. We're going to glue what we just did to the flat edge. So not the edge that has the, um, the tab to it, the flat edge. So let's go ahead and I am going to try really hard to get this nice and even. Now when you're placing it down, you just want to make sure that you're placing it down 
um, a little bit away. I don't know why my camera keeps shutting off. I guess I'm going to have to keep looking at it to, um, to watch when it's happening because I'm not sure when it's cutting out. So that kind of stinks. But let's go ahead now and we're going to connect these pieces together. So again, we have the straight edge and then over here we have the tab. So on the tab part, that's where we're going to put our adhesive. So we'll go ahead and we will add our double-sided tape. And then we will add, or I like to add, my reptile glue. Okay. Okay, so there is that. Now what we're going to do is we are just going to adhere it together. So now, if you were to just fold this like this, it should lay absolutely perfect. Okay, I'm just making sure that I'm right on that edge. Like that, like that. Okay. So sometimes I love it when it works out like that. When you can just fold over your project and the way it folds is the way it lands. And it's perfect. Okay. So now we have our gift bag, right? See how larger that is? I love this. Okay. So now you can tell that we have our opening here. This would be the bottom. And again, always making note of where your front is. So I'm looking at the slit and I know that's going to be my front. Okay. Let's do the next part. Okay. Now we can do this one of two ways, right? You can either, while it's still kind of flat and you can fit it on your desk kind of like this and you can decorate, you might want to do that now, or you can wait until it's all put together. It's very rare that I do the decorating um, before it's all finished. And I do that uh, mainly because I want to wait until I know how exactly my box is going to look. So I, I don't know, I guess I get a better feel for it so that I can decorate. I mean, I know my box is going to be this wide, but I want to see it all put together so I can really, really see how I want to decorate. But if you like to do that ahead of time, this would be the time to do it. Go ahead and start decorating. I'm going to decorate at the end. So we're going to keep on going. Okay, so next what we want to do is we want to work on the lid, right? So I'm going to bring in this piece here. This is what it looks like. So you have this piece, you have a little lid, um, an opening here, a little tab here, and then you have these score lines, and the score lines are about an eighth of an inch. What we need to do is we need to add our adhesive to the tab. Just make sure that you don't put it on the 1 8 section, only on the tab itself. So I'm going to use the double adhesive method again. Okay, so let's go ahead and let me move this over and I'm going to go ahead and bring in my adhesive. And again, I'm going to do the same thing. I am going to use the double method. And just again, be careful not to place it on the one eighth of an inch section. Okay, now what we need to do is we are going to place this, we're going to attach this to the back of our bag. So again, the front of the bag has the slit, so we're just going to turn it over and it's going to be a and it, we're going to attach it to the back piece. So that's this piece, right? And we're going to attach it to the inside, okay? So I'm just going to flip this over. Let me move some things around here. And then we're just going to add it right on in. Let's see here. Like this. I know you can't see. I'm sorry. Um, let's see. I'm trying to get it so that you can kind of see what I'm doing. Let me see, like this, like this, like this. Okay, so I was just lining them up, right, 
to the crease just like that. Let me fold this in so I can really, really see I'm folding it backwards and now I just want to make sure that I'm pressing this really really hard now you want to make sure that this is really well adhered because this is your lid so this is going to be the mechanism to close your bag okay let's see I think that's good okay so now it is attached let me see pull it out real quickly okay so you see that on this lid, right, we have this little little tab here. That's what we're going to put inside that slit on the front, and that's how it's going to close. So there we have this so far. Now let's go ahead and go on to the next part. Okay, now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and just seal up the bottom. So I'm just flipping it upside down. And let's see, I'm just going to push these out for a second. So I'm going to go ahead and just fold my two in like this. And now whichever way I'm going to do this, I just want to make sure that I have adhesive on there. So I'm going to go ahead and place adhesive here because I'm going to lift that up, right? So let's see here. that. Hopefully I'm in frame. So I want to do the sides too. Okay. So I've got my adhesive on this side, right? You can see that. So now I'm just going to make sure that it's squared away, right? Make sure that it's aligned well and then just place it right on top. I'm trying to make sure that my box is straight. Now you do want to make sure that you flip it over and somehow make sure that that it's stuck down really, really well. So I'm just placing my hand. Because this bag is bigger, I can do that. I can lift. I mean, I can place my whole arm in there. Okay. Okay, so there's that. Now I'm just going to add adhesive all to this side, and then I will do that. So let's go ahead and do that part. So adding adhesive. Okay. And then again, just make sure kind of that your box is straight. You don't want a wonky treat bag. Okay, and then just go over and then like that and then put your hand in again and press down really really well we want to make sure that it's nice and adhered you don't want this to come apart when you go and put um, all your candy or gifts or whatever it is you don't want it to come apart right fall out from the bottom okay so there's our bottom nicely done Here's our bag, the slits in the front. We've got our lid. Okay, what is the next part? Okay, next we are going to decorate. So what you should have left is one more larger piece like this. And that's going to be the front. Again, you can tell because there's a little slit there. And then we have lots of other pieces. So it, the hair, the hair is going to go up here like this on the lid. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and just kind of go through. I'm going to follow the picture that's online and kind of get it as close as I can to how it looks. Now I did notice that they gave us some extra pieces like this and I believe this is to make it sturdier. So if you want you can add these to our handles and that'll make it a little bit stronger which I think I will do. But in the meantime I'm going to go ahead and put you all on fast forward. I'm going to follow along with the picture online and I'll see you when we're all done. sure how this happened but it looks like I am missing 
an O and a T. Um, I must have thrown it away on accident because I don't see them anywhere, so I may have to redo that. Okay, so that stinks. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just throw this away. What I did was I just kind of went through all my smaller pieces just to say, okay, well, this goes here, this goes here, and I know what I'm doing. So, um, the words I'm just going to hold off for now, and that we would add to this white piece here. So, I'm just going to place it over to the side until I am ready to use that. So let's go ahead, push that off to the side. Okay, now we're going to do the eyes. So let's see here. I'm just going to move this. So we have our white pieces here. We're going to go ahead and just add some adhesive to this part. Okay, and just kind of attach it to the top, make sure it's aligned, press down, and do the same thing with the other one. So again, using my adhesive, oh, I'm so bummed about those letters, but they are small, so I can see how that would happen. Um, okay. Okay, so now there's that. Next, we want to do the eyes themselves. And let's just take a peek at how it looks. So, looking down. Okay, so let's grab some more. And let's see here. I'm going to put it kind of like this. Now you can do this any which way, you can have it going straight so it's looking right at you or you can move so that it looks any which way that's more appealing to you. Okay, like that, yeah, okay. Okay. So now my eyes, they're all done. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just use my adhesive, my reptile glue, to add all of these on, and then I'll be right back. going to go ahead and bring in that larger piece. So this is the longer, uh, the last piece rather, and it has a slit in the front. So you know that this is the front. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put our face on our bag. So we're going to bring in this long piece and basically what's going to happen, I'm going to put adhesive all the way around here and this is going to go slightly underneath that slit on the front. So it's going to go underneath that slit there and you can actually just kind of nestle it right on the edges and it's a perfect fit. So let's go ahead and use some glue. Let's see, I'm going to place some glue all over here on just not the bolts. You want to make sure that you don't put any adhesive on the bolts because the bolts are actually going to be away or off of the bag everything but the nuts and bolts are going to be attached. So I'm just flipping it around. Oops. Here we go. There we go. Let me just see here. Um, how far down? I think that's good. Like that. And it should be pretty easy 
to make it in a straight line because you're nestling the nuts and the bolts on the page so actually everything else is just gonna um, lay flat right where it's supposed to okay make sure it's well placed on okay now we're gonna go ahead and do the eyes so let's see just going to put them down and see how do I want them to look so you can have them looking any which way you know what I mean so like this is a time where you can give them um, a little bit of personality that to me would look angry um, I'm just going to have them look down okay so let's go ahead one all right let's see here let's do this one And then what I'm doing, just for frame of reference, what I'm trying to do is I put the eye in the middle of the third notch. I think that's a pretty good um, gauge as far as where to place it down. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, on the other eye. So I'm going to go ahead, place my adhesive, and then I'm going to center it on the third um, the third line coming in from the opposite way. So one, two, three, and I'm just going to, let's see, just make sure that it's nicely even. And now I made sure that that was centered. I mean, you can do this any which way, guys, right? I'm just sharing the way that I go ahead and I kind of logistically kind of look at it and how I do it, but any which way is fine. Okay, I'm going to hold it up. Yep, that looks really, really nice. Okay, what is the next part? Oh, the next part. I need to do this. So we have this little piece here, and we're just going to do it like that. So let's go ahead, bring in our adhesive. And again, I'm just going to place it all over like that, like that, like that. Okay, and just a little bit kind of wonky like that okay just trying to pick up any extra glue that might be seeping out but if it does seep out that's perfectly okay that's what we want because that means the adhesive is going all the way to the edge okay so there is that how cute is that oh my goodness i'm in love with this oh gosh all right let's see what else we have to do okay i'm gonna go ahead and put this off to the side for a moment i'm just gonna pick up a little bit here um i have this long piece here and i was looking at them like what does this go to i think this is supposed to be at the bottom no it's not the bottom so I actually don't even know where this goes because it doesn't it doesn't really tell you. Let me look at the PDF again, the instructions, and let me see if I can figure out where this is supposed to go. Okay, I just looked at the original file, and this must be a scrap piece from when I cut it because I'm like, what? Yeah, this doesn't go anywhere, so never mind that. Okay, I've got all these little little dots here that I don't think I'm going to use. They are the negatives to when we cut this out here. Um, let me see. Oh, you know what we can do is let's go ahead and place, we got two of these so that our handle can be extra sturdy. So I'm just going to place them wherever. It doesn't really tell you where to place it, but I'm going to place them here and um, let's see here and down at the other side. Okay, so let's go ahead and place some adhesive down. Go. Okay, so that's on the inside of that. So that's covered. Let's do the other one on this side. Oh, you know what? Instead of doing it on the inside, you know what? Should I do it on the outside? The outside might be cuter, huh? You know what? I'm going to do it on the outside. Because I think on the outside, it's just going to give it that little dimension, that little pop. Okay, so I went ahead and I cut 
another um, several of these letters out and when I started to put them all together and layer them up so I had some dimension I realized that I was missing again the same two letters and I'm like no I know that I cut them out and I know that I had them all well what happened was I was layering lots of layers together to give the letters dimension and I should have set aside two letters the R and the T and not done as much layering because that's what happened I put all my T's together so I didn't leave enough T's for the next word if that makes any sense at all anyway let's go ahead that was totally user error so I'm just gonna tell you when you cut them out make sure that you lay out your layers for all of the letters so that you can see and you don't over glue too many layers to one pile if that makes any sense at all I probably didn't make any sense okay so here is the white offset outline and now all we're gonna do is just add our layers to to our offset so let's go ahead and do that So I've gone ahead and placed all of my letters and they are dimensional so that's nice so let me put this off to the side so I'm gonna go ahead and bring back in the you know what actually hold on a second this extra piece let me look this extra piece that I didn't know where it went to I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut this down and place it at the bottom of my bag so let's go ahead and do that let me just see how big I need to make it let's see let me move this over a little bit okay so let's see here I need it to be I need it to be, let's see, seven and a quarter by seven and a quarter by three and a half. So let's do that. Seven and a quarter by three and a half. Three and a half and seven and a quarter. Okay, so I cut this down so that I can have this and I'm going to go ahead and just place this on the bottom in the bottom of my bag so it's going to give the bottom of the bag some stability okay so now that's in there let me get rid of this real quickly and so I have let's see I brought in these three I went to my scrap area and all right so this particular design let me show you so this is the front of the design we have a little um, thing there so this goes right on top kind of like this right um, so it goes right on top so right here we have some circles that are cut out and what I was thinking is we could put in maybe a piece of scrap paper underneath just to give it a different color see that see how that can make it just a little bit different and then I'll bring in this one so that kind of looks cool right now it didn't say that to do that in the instructions but I'm kind of digging this so I'm going to go ahead instead of doing the green I'm going to do the yellow orange and the red I'm going to cut it down so that we just have enough to go underneath these circles and then we'll put those down okay so let's see here I've got my I've got that and let's see I'm going to do the red one over here and I don't need much so let's see maybe this much okay I'm just cutting it all willy-nilly here no rhyme or reason just enough to attach it to the back and now let's go ahead and do the yellow side 
So let's see here. I can probably just cut myself a little piece. Totally. Let's see. Yeah, that's enough. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is just grab some, let's see here, grab some uh, glue and we'll put this down. So let's see here. I don't think it mattered, right? Which, uh, oh yeah, actually this goes here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just go around the circles like that. Okay. Just like that. Okay. So we've got that. That looks nice. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and do this part over here. And you'll notice I'm not doing it on, on the cardstock itself because I don't want to accidentally put some glue on the holes. Okay. So just Press that down like that. Okay. That looks really nice. I'm really, really liking the different colors on here. It just gives it that added extra kind of pop of personality, right? Okay, so let's see. There is that. That's all together now. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot better than just leaving it clear. Okay, so put this away somewhere. Now we're going to go ahead and bring this back in like this, and this is where it goes. But before we do that, let's go ahead and do the back. So we have our trick-or-treat, right? And that's just going to go right like that. Okay, so let me see. I'm going to use double the adhesive here, so I'm going to go ahead and oops come on okay okay and then let's go ahead and do a little bit of the liquid let's see liquid okay let's see here just a little bit just to make sure that it stays on and what I always try to remind myself, too, is that when I do things like this, I know it's not going to be kept forever. They will look at it. They really want to see what's on the inside, right? So I'm not building this to withstand a hurricane. You know what I mean? I want it to withstand them opening it up and kind of handling it. But I'm not really making this so that it's going to last a decade like that. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go ahead now just and turn it over and put my hand in and just kind of press down on the inside just to make sure that I have a really nice stick to it. Okay. Let's see. Oh, that looks really, really nice. Okay. Oh, and I think the dimension, adding the dimension, multiple layers. I think in the end, I did four layers of 80-pound cardstock. So it has definitely, let me see if I do it this way. Can you see the dimension? Yeah, right there you can. Okay, so there's the back. Now the front, again, we're just going to go ahead and just place it. Boom right there on top. Okay, let me move some of this stuff over. We are going to use the double adhesive method. Let's bring in our glue. Okay, I'm going to do it all around the edge and a little bit on the in the middle, and I think that should be enough. I think otherwise I have enough adhesive to 
stick to it all. Okay, now let's go ahead and place this down. Let's see, like that, like that. Like that. Okay, just make sure it's all really well. And let's go ahead. I'm going to put it upside down so that I can press on the inside. Okay. All righty. Got some extra glue on there. Get rid of that. Okay. So there's the front of our bag. So this already comes creased, so we can just kind of like pinch it like that. We can pinch the sides and then close this like this and then we can place this. Ooh, you know what? Let me see if I did okay. I placed glue all over it and I forgot about the little piece of um, the little slit here. So you know what? I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to use a little foam dot instead. That's okay. So when you're doing yours, don't forget that when you're placing your adhesive, just um, make mention that you don't want to place it, the adhesive, on the slit on the front. Okay, but I just added a little foam dot like that. Okay, pinching my sides, bringing this over, lining it up and good now what i can also do is if i don't want this to show i can just let's see here oh okay i'm gonna cut this right off because now there's absolutely no reason for it there's no um necessary reason to have that so i can throw that out and i can put my little foam dot in the middle like that pinch it on the sides bring it down and there we go there is our treat bag how stinking adorable is this now this went of course a little bit um slower in the in the longer run only because i've never done this before so i really wanted to make sure that i knew where all the pieces go and all of that so here's the back trick or treat so so cute and the finished Let's see, the finished size of this is now, let's see, it's seven and a quarter by three and a half. So it's a good size for sure. How adorable is that? All right, guys, well, that's all I have for you today. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you have, guys, thank you so much. Your support goes an awful long way in helping my channel out. All right, guys, until the next time, stay safe, be kind, and keep it creative. Mm -hmm.